doing a autumn inspired makeup look. Today is actually 107 degrees outside and it is blazing hot. I've had the air conditioning on for the past two days, going on three days. So it definitely isn't fall outside yet, but inside my house, as you could see, it is already fall. And I thought I would show you guys this autumn inspired makeup look. It's something very simple. This is for the girls who don't really want to do a lot of dramatic eyeshadow. Um, it's just more like a subtle look that you can do if you're going to like the pumpkin patch and you want something more natural to go with like your orange shirt or even if you're wearing all black to just have like a little pop of orange in there in your makeup. So if you guys want to achieve this look, keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure that you comment and you subscribe and you do like this video and I hope you cool friends enjoy. So let's get into it. First things first, we obviously have to put the hair away. These clips honestly don't really hold up any hair, but they are really cute, so I'm gonna use it. So just so you ghouls know, I do not put face makeup on on a regular basis. Honestly, face makeup I use for like just events or stuff like that. So I'm gonna go all in. This is probably the makeup look that I will wear for Boogie Bash. So that's why I'm also like testing it out right now to see how I like it so that whenever I go next week, I know what I'm going to be doing for my makeup and not rushing the day of. So my first step for this makeup look was this argon oil. I have very dry skin, so this oil is the only thing that honestly moisturizes it. I absolutely love it. It's very affordable. So if you guys want to pick up a good oil-based moisturizer, I highly recommend that one. Oh, my elbow i just hit it so i have a whole drawer of eyeshadows just looking at it so far i have this one it's all glitter this one is also like brown with sparkles i believe this one was from the jaclyn hill palette um what other eyeshadow palette do i have that matches fall this one oh my gosh this is dose of colors it's maroon and this one is Sticks and Stones. This is more of a rose gold sparkle where this maroon is. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. How have I never used this before? I was honestly planning on doing a more like orangey, simple type of look. But I don't know. That maroon is looking so beautiful. And there's also this like emerald green one. I've had these for like years and I've barely used them, which sucks because now it girl makeup is in. <gasps> How have I not used this in so long? It's broken, so I don't want to show, but it's like blue and reflective. Oh, gorgeous. I feel like instead of doing a natural girl makeup, I have to use these eyeshadows. Oh. I think I might have to change my look, you guys. This is black eyeshadow with sparkles. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna see. I might be changing my mind and doing something a little more dramatic, but we'll see. We're gonna see as we go along. Start off with some concealer on my eyes. I only use drugstore makeup because I don't put makeup on very often. I do not have the most trendy type of makeup. I'm just simply using what I have and maybe that'll inspire you with your makeup products to do a similar type of look. So I'm just blending the concealer in. I personally love doing eyeshadow first. That way in case there is fallout or anything, it does not fall on my base. I used to be a makeup girly back in 2016 to like 2019. I would sit down for hours and hours and just play around with makeup. I actually have so many brushes. This is back in the days when I used to be obsessed. I would just collect brushes all the time and just sit down for hours and play with makeup. So since I no longer wear makeup on a daily basis, I only have two eyeshadows. I have this Anastasia, I think it's called the Prism. Yeah, the Prism palette. And then I have this other eyeshadow that I got from Marshalls. And it's all colorful. 
So let me see, maybe I could use the orange in here as a crease shade. Look at how perfect that like orange is. It's like pumpkin girl vibes. So I'm gonna probably use both of these eyeshadow palettes. I was a hoarder with eyeshadows, so I really had to throw some of them out because they would just sit there for years and years and weren't being used. So I'm gonna go in first with the color Saturn. And I use the Morphe M533 brush. This has been my go-to brush for so many years because it's so like fluffy and big. And I really make sure to, <laughs> I just stopped talking. I really make sure to dust off all of the shadow. I have a feeling that this look is going to go a little more dramatic than I expected it to. It's leaning more towards 2016 makeup. So I know in the beginning of the video, I mentioned this is for the simple girls, but I'm only gonna be using like two or three shadows. So, I don't think it's gonna be too dramatic, but oh my gosh. Do you see, can you guys see how beautifully that is blended? This brush is everything. If you guys use eyeshadow on a daily basis and you really want that like blown out, really blended eyeshadow look, this is the brush that'll definitely give it to you girls. I'm sorry, to you ghouls. Though this is how it's looking. It looks gorgeous. We're gonna do the same to the other eye and I'm just gonna speed this part up. So this is how it's looking. Because I do have more almond shaped eyes, I really like to bring the shadow out to kind of elongate them even more. But you guys know your eye shape the best. So this is just what I do, but I really like to almost bring it out more towards the end of my brow, even a little more. So this is the first shadow. Now I am taking this color. What is this called? Mango mango much that is the color of it whoa this mirror is amazing why aren't i using this mirror hmm. okay well i got this on a more smaller brush but still very similar so this is how they look they're still very similar i'm gonna put this under it it's gonna be like a sunset type of vibe going on we start the outside of my eye and just blend it in and make sure you're holding your brush like in the middle to the end part because if you're holding it close like this it's going to deposit a lot of pigment right onto that one spot and it's going to be really hard to blend it out and please make sure you're dusting off the remainder of the eyeshadow before you put it on because that's what's going to cause fallout another trick that i learned throughout the years is you could always apply more product but it's harder to take away the product. So make sure that when you're using eyeshadows, you're dipping it in lightly and brushing it off. And please make sure you spend the time to blend your eyeshadow. See, I just constantly go back in, I tap off, and that's what gives it this like seamless, blended look. I get so many compliments from my sisters and people who see my eyeshadow in person. They tell me how nice and blended it looks. It's because I've learned these techniques that I'm telling you guys, like I really think if you guys were to implement these techniques, your eyeshadow would look so amazing and blended, but it also does depend on your brushes as well. And just keep going back in, keep dusting it off. The sun is starting to set, so pretty soon I'm going to have to turn my ring light on. But I want to show you ghouls how it looks whilst there's still natural daylight. This is how we're looking. I absolutely love how it's coming out so far. You could clearly see the yellow and then the orange. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but in person... It's gorge. I don't know what eyeshadow I want to do. Um, let me see. Oh, this is gorgeous for the lid shade. 
I think I might just do that. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with the original look that I had planned. Maybe another time I'll use those eyeshadow colors, but we're just gonna go in with this color. You can either do white eyeshadow and then like black eyeliner. I feel like that'll be so pretty. Or you can do this color, but let's see. Maybe I might just start off on the outside and apply this color on the outside and then the inner corner I might keep it white just so it gives me a more like elongated eye look this is so much fun for me you guys I used to sit down and do this for hours and hours and just play with makeup and it would be so relaxing and this feels like my old self like I would just sit down and play with makeup ah oh, this is so nice okay I'm using now a morphe m522 it's just a flat brush and then I'm going to take this stark white color right here tap it off see all of that would have been way too much to put on my eye so we're going to apply this on the inner corner Ooh, I didn't brush it off and it was too much. It's giving very candy corn type of makeup, honestly. I think I might just <laughs> title this candy corn eyeshadow type of makeup look because that's what it's giving, the orange, the yellow, and the white. So this is how it's looking so far on one eye. I just keep going back and forth, intensifying it, blending it. And then I just take my finger, blend it. I'm thinking I might want to add sparkle. So I have shine on me. It's the color right next to it. I'm going to take a different finger, that's how it looks, and just apply it on the inside. Oh my gosh, yes, it totally needed this. This is giving candy corn, girl. I'm sorry if my mirror keeps blocking the camera, by the way. Oh, this is gorgeous. Definitely needed the glitter. That's how it's looking so far. Oh, I absolutely love it. So cute. I'm gonna finish the eyeshadow on my other eye and then come back, so I'll be right back. Okay. The ring light is on, but I just had to show you how it looks with winged eyeliner. She's looking stunning. Oh, I'm so obsessed. Okay, we're gonna do mascara next. I knew I said that I was going to do it off camera, but probably just gonna speed this little part up. I still definitely think this is like clean girl makeup. I don't think this is dramatic at all. I feel like it's in between. It's still giving 2016 eyeshadow, but still giving natural and cutesy, so. Okay, mascara is done. I cannot get over this. She's gorge. So I have a bunch of eyelashes. I'm gonna go and look through and see which one is going to be the nicest ones. I definitely think I'm gonna do some corner lashes. I think that'll look the most nice on my eye shape. So let me go see what I have and I'll be right back. These are the lashes. I think they're from Amazon. I really love how long my eyelashes are naturally, but I feel like for more nighttime looks, you wanna have like a little extra to your makeup. So we're just gonna apply lashes. Okay, this is the first pair done. Now let's do the other eye. I can't stop staring at my eyes. Again, I don't think the video does it justice. Just how gorgeous this is. Ah! Love, 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 love. I love it so much so far. Okay. I'm going to clean up as we go because this is going to be such a headache afterwards and I honestly don't want 
makeup everywhere. So let's get those away. Oh, I forgot to put the cover on. I honestly don't know what inspired me to just sit down and get ready, but I'm really glad we're here because this is so much fun. I really hope you ghouls are enjoying it so far. So it's now time to move on to face products. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This thing likes to get tacky extremely fast, so I'm gonna move quick, quick, quick. Oh my gosh, I got it in my hair. That's not good. I really don't want to get this in my hair because I just washed my hair last night. We have two options, the L'Oreal True Match W2 or the Dewy Smooth Normal to Dry Maybelline Fit Me. This is shade 120, and like I said, this is W2. I, <laughs> I say this in all honesty, but I am actually tan. I've been to the beach, so this is me a little tan with a little color. So I'm going to go in with my 120 because this is too dark for me like outside of summer. So I think this will match perfectly. I know I'm a pale as a ghost, so I hear it all the time. It's kind of alarming how much I hear how pale I am. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I haven't worn foundation in so long that I forgot how good it looks. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you ghouls a little bit about myself since we're hanging out. But yeah, let's get into a little Q&A that no one asked for. So my name is Tina and I am 29 years old. I was born in Glendale, California, and I am Armenian, but my family is from Iran. My grandparents were the first to leave Iran in many, many years. I'm not sure when my ancestors went to Iran, but I'm sure it was probably because of the Armenian Genocide. So I, even though I am Armenian, I do have a lot of Persian culture that I was growing up with. By the way, I'm going to move on to concealer. Elf Camel Concealer in Light Sand. This is already really pale for me in my pale months, so I'm not going to apply much. My favorite holiday, obviously, is Halloween. But I want to say Halloween and Christmas, and I swear I celebrate Halloween all year round. But once Halloween is over with, Christmas is all I can think about. And I just go into full-on Christmas mode. Once Halloween is done, I'm like, okay, there you go, it's done with. I embrace Christmas, and then I pick back up with Halloween like two months after the holidays are done. My favorite seasons are... Wait, I threw out my setting powder, so now I have no setting powder for under my eyes. This is what happens when you have makeup products for so many years, you get worried about getting infections and all of that, so I just threw it out. But I have this... Ulta Beauty Powder Mineral Foundation. So I'm just gonna use this to set my under eyes. But yeah, back to the little Q&A. My favorite seasons are autumn and spring. I think they're the most beautiful seasons out of the year. Summer and winter, I would say are the least beautiful seasons out of the year. So yeah, those are definitely my two top favorite seasons. So next, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour in light slash medium. Try to think up what else I could say. Oh, since we're doing Halloween makeup, I'll tell you guys 
why I love Halloween so much. So growing up, Halloween was a holiday that I celebrated. Every single year, my mom made sure that I had a costume or even just activities in elementary school just made me fall in love with the holiday. And it's something that when I have kids one day, I would love to have the same feelings about Halloween because it's one of the best holidays. I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, ever since I was a kid, it's just been something I've been obsessed with. I would sit inside my grandma's house um, during like fall days and it would be raining and me and my cousin would just sit there and just watch the rain and just say, oh my god, like Halloween is coming, it's raining. And I've just always grown up with a passion for it. And... I don't know, I just love it. And Christmas, obviously I feel the same way for Christmas too, but Halloween just holds a special place in my heart. Okay, back to some other facts about me. I am a nurse. I am an LVN, but I do plan on going back to nursing school. Hopefully by next year I can start classes at a university. Um, I plan on working on my prerequisites so that I can be able to go back and get my RN BSN degree. Ultimately, my goal one day is to be a full-time influencer. So although I have nursing, I would really love to like be a full-time YouTuber and a full-time like content creator because I would love to just have that as my job. I mean, who wouldn't, you know, who wouldn't want to do that? So next I'm going in with the e.l.f. Peach Perfect. I love doing YouTube. It is one of my favorite things to create. I never believed I was a creative person, but ever since I got into TikTok and YouTube, it's brought out such a creative side of me that I honestly think I didn't have. And it's so nice that this can be like your full-time career, you know? Like, I don't know. It's something that I would dream to one day call my job. So yeah, I mean, you guys currently watching, you guys subscribing and liking, can definitely make my dreams come true so oh i forgot to blend this out oh my gosh could you imagine i forgot to blend this out <laughs> that would have been bad but i know the sun is starting to set and i don't know if you could see my makeup that well but she's coming out like a full-on glam and i love it i know at the beginning i kept saying like oh i'm gonna do like natural makeup because I did this like very natural makeup a few weeks ago where I just put one eyeshadow on my eyelid and thought it was very cute and it didn't have I didn't put any foundation or anything like that. That's the look that I was planning on recreating. But like I said, you guys, something about YouTube, I just sit down and this creative side of me that I didn't know I had just comes out and with my brushes, with whatever makeup I do have, this is the look that came about. And I absolutely love it. I feel so beautiful right now. I haven't done makeup like this in forever. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting to get such a mood boost from doing this video, but here we are. I guess I need to start filming more makeup videos. Let me know, should I start filming more makeup videos? Because I absolutely love how this is coming out. I love hanging out with you guys. And this is just a lot of fun for me. Okay, now that we have highlighter, contour, I think this ring light is kind of washing it out but this is how it's looking so far. I definitely don't have, why didn't I have this on the entire time? This is just my desk lamp. I definitely don't have the best lighting. Oh, this is so much better. I feel like a dramatic change now. 
I'm sorry, next time I will definitely use both lights. But yeah, this is so much fun. So I am using this e.l.f. blush. It is called Bright Pink. I think I went a little overboard on this side. Oh, and I'm using the Makeup by Ariel A21. This was a Christmas gift for my sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. Put a little bit on the nose. Oh, I forgot to highlight my nose. Just use whatever's left over. Now, for the lips, I don't have many lip options because I don't really like liquid lipstick. I don't like the way lips lipstick just in general feels on my lips if i'm about to eat i will literally take whatever is on my lips off because i do not like it i don't like eating i don't like anything on my lips Ooh, there's a hair from my brush so yeah i need to figure out what lip combo i'm gonna do right now because i really don't have many options So tomorrow night, my husband and I are going to go to the first night of Fright Fest at Six Flags. And I really think that I'm going to recreate this makeup look for tomorrow night. I've always been such a like eyeliner, mascara type of girly within the past few years. Like I really don't do full face of makeup at all ever anymore and this just inspired me so much and like reminded me that this is such a fun thing to boost your mood i mentioned my mascara l'oreal telescopic the best mascara ever 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 and for the bottom eyeshadow that I just put, it is the Prism Palette in the color Saturn. So I just took it on like this small dome-shaped brush. I just tight lined the bottom of my eyes with it. And now I'm putting on mascara. I definitely want to put a little bit of sparkle on the inside of my eyes because I love how big it's making my eyes look. The white, it's definitely making my eyes look a lot bigger, a lot brighter. So I wanna add a little bit of sparkle. Okay, I'm going to take this Makeup by Ariel A7 brush. Um, I might just use this palette again, take the shade Lucid. It's a white sparkle shade. I need to scrape off a little bit of it. Tap off. I usually love to do, um, you know, the like sharp lines on the inside of the eye. I usually love doing that for my everyday look, but I really love how it's looking just like this. I don't think this was as bright as I wanted it to be. I will use, I'm going to use the e.l.f., what is this called? Liquid glitter. Can you tell how it looks? I think I'll put this on the inside instead. And just blend it out with this. And then last step, I have this lip liner from She Makeup. I'm pretty sure this is from the dollar store. But we're gonna use it all over our lips since I don't really like liquid lipstick. Or actually, I think I might have a brown lipstick from MAC. This might be a little too dark, but I might just pat it on. Q. 
cuties. I know the lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. Okay, now let's tap. Oh wait, the lip liner. I don't know if I said the name of it. It's called Natural. And then this MAC lipstick is called Marrakesh Matte. I'm just going to dab a little bit on. Oh, that's perfect. The very fall girl inspired. Love it. All right. Oh, my eyebrows. I forgot to do my eyebrows. Well, this is the final makeup look. I did a little montage to show you guys, but I have never thought that this could look so natural yet so good. Let me know how you enjoyed it. Did you like getting ready with me? Did you guys like me talking? Do you guys want like just the makeup look with some music over it? Or let me know like if you guys enjoy this. My eyelash is literally lifting right here. I notice it. Yes, I do. I should probably fix this. Oh, there we go. I hope you ghouls really enjoyed this get ready with me, this candy corn girl makeup. Let me know if you want me to do more fall inspired makeup looks. And I hope you guys enjoyed like getting to know me a little bit as well because I don't really think I've done a Q&A on my YouTube yet. If you want me to talk more like and get to know me a little better on a more personal level, I would love that just comment it and like interact with me because i would love to get to know you guys as well but yeah i really hope you guys actually recreate this look and wear it out to the pumpkin patch or horror nights or somewhere spooky i think this would be the perfect look to wear out and it'll look good in all pictures from every angle especially if you use flash the sparkle will just hit so perfectly and it really brings out your eye color so i really hope you ghouls enjoyed this video i really enjoyed filming it and yeah don't forget to follow me on tiktok and instagram and even subscribe to me if you aren't already my name is the same on all platforms and I'm just really excited to get the spooky season started. I have so much content planned that I want to share with you guys. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>